Well, starting things off, the ANC Youth League is set to hold its elective conference at Nazareth. The registration of delegates is currently underway, but it appears that the process is not smooth as there seems to be disagreements over a quite a number of issues. This cross to SABC News politics reporter Samgele Maseko for the latest. Samgele, good afternoon. Perhaps you can walk us through what is transpiring on your end. Any concerns? Well, Lisa, at this point in time, the registration process for this ANC Youth League Congress seems to have hit a snail's snack. There were issues of uh, issues of audits of uh, this particular Congress of the Youth League in North Eastern Cape. This conference is being disputed. The Secretary General of the ANC, Figil Mbalula, saying that that conference should have not gone ahead. We've had the Provincial Secretary, Bongani Mani, speaking and saying that uh, Figil Mbalula, the Secretary General of the, of the ANC, is interfering in the issues of young people and does not have the time directives to issue whether a Congress of the Youth League provincially goes ahead or not. There have been allegations against the Provincial Secretary of the Eastern Cape as well, Tambega Ngugai Tobi, on the issues of the ANC Youth League. Some in the Youth League who are aligned to Colin Maine, uh, Colin Malaji rather, are saying the Youth League Congress must go ahead, it will go ahead, but there's issues around the Eastern Cape. I want to bring in Mr. Apiwe Makangelo just to speak on the essence of this uh, registration process. Mr. Apiwe, how is the registration process going? Have you registered as a delegate, I'm told you are contesting against Colin Malaji for the, for, the, for the position of president of the Youth League. No, thank you, leadership. We have not commenced with the registration. There has been an attempt to commence with the registration, starting with the Eastern Cape. But the problem is that when you get inside the registration venue, there is a serious duplication uh, of delegates and wrong capturing of delegates uh, of the province. And we have noted that not only for the Eastern Cape, but uh, cutting across the country, that there has been a serious manipulation as it relates to the registration process. And this uh, happens because you, an expectation is that before you commence with the registration process, NYTT must sit a meeting, entertain reports, adopt reports, including the audit report. They must be familiar with the audit report and the delegates list. But I can confirm to you, as we speak now, there has been no audit report that has been disseminated to NYTT members. NYTT members that are convening this Congress are not familiar themselves on who must enter and who must not enter and how many branches are in and how many that are out. So that alone uh, 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 questions the credibility of the Congress. As we speak here, we have been briefed that by four o'clock, an NYTT meeting is to, is to be convened. We understand that even yesterday, there was an invite to an NYTT meeting, but for some reason or the other, the coordinator uh, uh, cancelled the NYTT meeting. So, so that is the current state that we are in. Not a single region has registered. We have seen uh, papers uh, confirming that Gauteng, Setibeng is, reg is registered, uh, this other uh, 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 region is registered. But when you check the heading, you, it's written Gauteng, but the names is KZN uh, comrades. So we have those processes that we have then a responsibility uh, to make a, an appeal to our structure of which we wrote to them that they must make sure that an NYTT meeting convenes so that they address the problems that we are facing that talks to the delegation and the audit. By doing so, we are allowing to have a, a, a credible Congress that is going to conclude and bring solutions to young people's problems uh, without any interference of any nature. So are you saying that this Congress of the Youth League is being manipulated? And if you are saying so, who's manipulating this Congress? I am saying uh, this Congress of the Youth League uh, is going to be manipulated and is being manipulated by the, the, the coordinator, by the coordinator, the deputy coordinator uh, and the organizing. Because these three individuals I'm mentioning, they are running away from an NYTT meeting to sit and agree on processes that must unfold for the Congress to start. So if then you don't want to come to the structure that you belong in, you are convened, come and let's address the issues of audit. Let's address, because if you release an audit two days before the start of the Congress, two days before the start of the Congress, when are you going to have time to attend to corrections? When are you going to have time to attend with everything that has been captured wrong there? Several branches uh, in the branches that have failed, about 80% of them have failed because it's being said their membership is less than 100. With us, 
we have all those branches, we have carried them. We must go for corrections. They must count those branches that they are saying that they are less than, less than 100 and it will be confirmed that they are not less than 100. Young people have participated uh, in, in branches and have registered their membership and they've been elected to be delegates. So therefore, that's why we say an NYTT meeting must sit and evaluate the work that was done by subcommittees because the subcommittees were working and preparing for this Congress for the NYTT. So the NYTT must process those reports, go through them, then after that we go to Congress because we indeed want the Congress uh, to sit. Some may say you are saying all of these things because you are seeing that numbers are not, perhaps may not be balancing in your favour against the Deputy Coordinator, which is Colin Malaj, whom you are presuming contesting against for the position of President. If we had a problem of numbers, registration would have been commencing now. If we had a problem of numbers. We have been nominated by branches uh, having followed credible processes to be here as young people and it is our it is our responsibility not for the media not for any comments or to buy any favor but it is our responsibility that when we rebuild the ANC Youth League we must follow we must follow a thorough pro process because if we don't follow a thorough pro process we are going to have leadership that is going to be elected here and that is not going to be able to have the capacity and the strength to go and mobilize young people unite young people and ensure that we advance the agenda uh, 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 for, 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 for young people people and their complex problems. So when we do this work, we're not doing it because of the sake of numbers and so forth. We're doing it because we want to have a credible uh, a Congress. We want to ensure that after this Congress, young people of the country are united. We mobilize them. We go and mobilize many more young people and restore uh, the struggle for young people and ensure that all the problems that they are facing, we are dealing with them, having led uh, by a leadership that has been elected through a credible process. Thank you very much. That is Apiwe, who is contesting for the position of president. I'm just going to ask my colleague Mashudu just to take the camera off the tripod, just to move around and also see if we can get some of any other NYTT members who may be around, who may have a different perspective to him on this particular view. Can you just uh, indulge us for as we try and get that particular reaction as well so that uh, we also get the perspective of uh, others on these particular issues as time goes on during the day. Mashudu, my colleague, will just show you the registration venue as well of uh, the Youth League venue. The Congress is supposed to sit at Nazrek Expo Center beginning tomorrow, but uh, it looks as if the registration process is at a snail's pace, just similar to the ANC conference last year in 2017, where registration venue was a similar one. Registration took a very long time. We've not yet heard from the NYTT. They have a briefing and a venue seeing opportunity at five o'clock this afternoon at the Nazrek Expo Center, but issues of credentials being raised here.